So it's happening. We're finishing out our Mediterranean expedition tonight. Peroni, Ephrus, Moriarty. Obviously we drank them, but whatever. We're getting into them tonight. Let's do it! What's up, everybody? <laughs> Scott and Pat from the Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer feels like wine. And tonight we are finishing up our tour of Turkey. God, thank God. We Scott's <laughs> mom took a vacation over to. Uh, it, it, she went overseas basically. She, she went, went to, to Turkey. She yeah. went to the Mediterranean. Is brought real. back some beers that you would find over there. She went to basically a bunch of places where they don't drink beer, and I was like, bring back whatever beer you can find. And um, Peroni, Morietti. Ephrus. I'm pretty sure Peroni and Mor Moretti you can actually get here. Boom. Ephrus, though, dude, that is, this one this one's definitely an overseas beer. Heard, heard, never. Yeah. And then we have one more over here with no cap, so we'll we'll get creative with that one. Um Got it. Carry out. You know, close it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Ephrus. By the way, if you're noticing my fantastic haircut, and you might have tuned in for our, what do we call it? Recession oh, proof. Recession proof. Uh, it's our recession proof series, and uh, we did a haircut, showing you how to get through those hard times with uh, what you got. And I got a friend named Pat, so there it is. Oh, that's right. No big deal. First try. No biggie. All right, so if you've ever been to an Italian restaurant, which I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you have like been there, great, dude. Peroni's been there. Morietti's one of those like subclasses that you you would find in those Italian restaurants. Ephrus, I've never heard of Ephrus. I'm I'm really hoping Ephes, it's not you're, like you're throwing an R. Ephrus. Ephrus. I'm really hoping it's not like Skoll because Skoll gave me food poisoning and it was probably the worst beer I've ever had. I know it's beer though. You know you're getting a good beer when they label it beer. Can we talk about this? So it says beer, beer. Something in Greek. Bira, cerveza, beer. Well, that's how you say fun in all those languages. Are we, our alphabet, are we Cyrillic? Or what is the alphabet for Greek and Russian? I have no Question idea. Than I. Wow. <laughs> Did you know their alphabet was called the Cyrillic alphabet? No, not at all. I was completely, completely caught. Well, here we go. Ephes. We're going to get through this thing. One, ten, one. One. Uh, one Bud Light, ten Rasputin. One is coming across and this thing really... This is a Pilsner. It actually doesn't smell that bad. Not like the skull. Cheers. A little taster glass to see what happens here. You know, it comes across kind of like a lager. You know what you can really taste in there? I mean, there's a beer that we're going to drink from the East Coast that we have this taste from too. Is the wort. You can taste the wort. Totally. It tastes like fermented wort. Um, I, you know, which essentially is a beer, but like the, that wort for all you home brewers, there's a very distinct taste and smell, and uh, it definitely, you definitely, you smell the is. taste, it, huh? Yeah, it's 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 very, it's like a home brew lager. Let's take one more sip of this, and then I actually kind of like that. That was that was not bad. It's not bad, dude. Let's rate these real quick, and we'll get through them. All right. I'll give it a three, maybe a two. Let me get a four. It, it's a classic light oh. beer. Like, it's a Pilsner, but, like, it's not amazing, but it, it's just light beer. Like, I mean, light beer is really hard to distinguish between, for my palate, for whatever reason. I don't know how you feel, but... I think four is a little high. It's not bad. I actually... It, that's much better than, you know, some light beers I've tasted. I think you were just ready for Skull, and that's why it is what it is. Next one. Next one. Well, Peroni, you got it open. Let's do it. Yeah, Peroni. We're going to leave that open. We're gonna have a challenge there. I'm gonna shotgun challenge that actually. Oh, do it. You should. Peroni. If you've ever been to an Italian restaurant, you understand that Peroni's always there. Peroni's there along with the American micro brews that they always have on tap or in bottles. Peroni's not bad. It's your classic like Italian lager. It's, you know, whatever. It's Peroni. And what, uh, what are you looking at, Pat? We're looking at one on the color scale, right? One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. This guy is another one again. What we're doing here, the reason why Scott and I paired these all together is because we never do this, ever. We've never done this in a hundred reviews. Hundred? 
that. What? But seriously, we've never done this in 100 reviews. And the reason we're doing this is because realistically, all three Italians that ever watched this review would never watch all three of them. So let's stick them together. Yeah, let's get them all together. And you it's a one, straight up. One on the color scale, one Bud Light, Tens, the Rasputin. This guy's, dude, it's smelling a whole lot more like Bud Light, though. I actually enjoy that FS much more. Off the, oh, when off, I smell it. Well, let's try it. Off the nose. Off the nose. Off the nose. <laughs> if you took a shot that big of vodka, how would you feel? I would probably throw up. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, uh, whatever, dude. It's it's Bud Light and a Italian can that says <sighs> Come on, like, seriously, is that any different than Bud Light? No, it's a lot like Bud Light, especially when you get, um... It's like three parts Bud Light, one part Heineken. <sighs> one part Heineken. It's all Bud Light. Um, like, when you finish that light beer that has a distinct light beer taste where it's almost like... Like, it's it's dry, it's it's weedy, it's 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 like... It has that finish, that distinct, like, dry, like, dry mouth finish. It's kind of there. It's just, like, it's just, it's not great. I'll give it a two. I, I give it a two also. Peroni, like, I, I seriously feel like you're biting Bud Light style or Bud White, you know, it's like a Coors Bud Light kind of style. Yeah, I think the Ephesus, I'm, I'm with Pat In on this one. A I different Ephesus, can. I think Ephesus is a better beer than the Peroni. Yeah, no, it comes up with a much better flavor palette. Let's use these again. Last one, Morietti. Is another Italian light lager that, although not known across the broad spectrum of Italian food eaters, is another Peroni type beer. By the way, just because we're giving these twos and threes and fours doesn't mean that they're not drinkable beers. They're good beers. They're just not blowing our mind. They're just there. I mean, like, you're talking about a craft beer, it's a beer show. If you're going to eat a Calzone, by all means, if you want to have a water or a beer, have one of these beers. Oh, thank God we got into this, dude. This thing is going to go bad in September of 2012. <laughs> Morietti, you you know what's interesting to me, though? What outfit, what nationality does that outfit look like to you? German. It does, to me, too. Look at this. It looks as though this man is wearing a later hosen type outfit, but I'm assuming it was Morietti that it's an Italian beer. They do have a red cap, though, and I respect that, because in America, when you have a red or pink cap, it's breast cancer awareness. Really? Yeah. Even the red caps, like the Budweiser red caps? They used to, I don't know about Budweiser, but I know on Coke they used to have the pink caps, and if you turn the pink caps in, like, you know, a thousand of them or something stupid, they donated, like, a thousand dollars to Susan G. Coleman. Oh, that's right. The complete cult of, you know, breast cancer awareness. Well, let's hope that's... <sighs> Out of the three, best, second, Let's see how more ready. Question mark. One Bud Light 10 recipe, and this is going to blow your mind. It's going to come in at a one. Smell it. You're you gonna these, dude, these lights are you got like good. Lights, dude. Good new lights. We got good lights. Scott got a haircut. I'm growing a mustache. We're growing up on this, this show. This is skull, dude. This is skull. Smell it. Yeah, it definitely is a little skunkier. This has got a lot more Heineken to it. It's got a little bit more Heine, so. I'm going to use Heineken as a flavor now in good. future references. Good. good, you should. All right. It's a lot like Anakin. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Peroni and Morietti are the same beer in different cans. No way, totally different. This one's way more Heineken, that one's way more Bud Light. This is a much better beer. Either way, I'm gonna give it about a three. Two, four, five. So you're going Ephraim first, Morietti, and then Peroni? Yeah, because they're different beers. But actually, they're pretty close. Go four and a half so on both, and then uh, two on uh, on the Peroni. I'm not even gonna put scores up on these because it could be confusing. <laughs> I'm just go ahead. We're gonna rate it on a scale of best to worst out of all three here. And what are you gonna rate it? Best, second, third. It's not like it's bad. It's just it's just it's blah. It's light beer. It's blah. It is what it is. You can you can you can call a Bud Light whatever blah. you want. You can call. A Heineken light, whatever you want, but it's never gonna break a, never gonna break a five on the scale unless it's Pat, then it has the name Heineken and it's a seven. But it caught me though; it was very really nostalgic. That wasn't nostalgic. It was, it was that it's the first review we did. How about this one? Why don't we shotgun the Peroni? Why don't I shotgun the Peroni? Done.
Mac computer. Nah. Hide. This is my first shotgun. Shotgun challenge! Do, 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 do. Danger zone. Do, do, do. <laughs> Right in the middle of my Kenny Loggins song. What just happened? 3D glasses. Oh my god, 3D glasses. <laughs> Jesus, that thing went in my eyeballs. Alright, dude. You ready to watch? Yeah, I'll get it too. Wait till I get to seven. Here we go. Wait at home. One, three, two, one, go. Done. Four seconds. Well, everybody, thanks for checking it out. This was our light beer review. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One to ten. Ten being amazing <laughs> shotgun. This is going to get about an eight and a half. This is super freaking easy to shotgun. So if you're in Italy and you find a Peroni and you want to have a shotgun party, good to go. I want to quit her. I'm Pat <laughs> I'm Scott Van Book. Good night. Peace.